everybody welcome back to the channel i feel like i need water i'm feeling very very thirsty uh welcome back to the channel i am doing another first impressions um video today and i'm trying out uh a high-end foundation and this is the one i'm trying out i've had this foundation since before i left for japan and that was well over a month ago or something like that i've had it i haven't uh tried it out and i kind of felt like recording today because i was in low spirits i am in low spirits and i know when i record i end up feeling better i feel good i feel excited to record and all of that jazz so because this is this is the I didn't even tell you what kind of foundation it is. This is the Urban Decay Stay Naked Weightless Liquid Foundation up to 24 hour wear. We're not gonna try and wear it for 24 hours. That's not gonna happen. That never happens. But we're gonna try and wear it today and see how it wears. Um, my shade, just in case for reference, I am an NC47 with MAC. So in this one, I'm a 71NN. I don't know what that means, but yeah and it's got a lifespan of 12 months wow okay it's got a lifespan of 12 months one year but pretty much some of them go up to two years so i'm actually quite surprised with this um uh, but the packaging is beautiful the only thing that i'm quite surprised about especially from urban decay is that the packaging is plastic it looks really really pretty that's what the packaging looks like it's really really pretty but i was actually surprised to find that this is plastic um, and of course when you open it it comes with a pump which is really really handy as well as you guys know I love foundations which come with pumps so I'm very very excited to try this one out definitely excited and I just thought because we're on the Urban Decay Live let me revisit a palette that I haven't used in quite a while and this is the Urban Decay uh, Naked Ultimate Basics I absolutely love it I'm not planning on doing a colorful look like I have been recently or whatever I really just want a neutral look and they probably won't be even much showing on my eyes but we're gonna go with a full look right so we're gonna do that and as you guys know normally when I start off I do my eyes first um, the concealer that I'm using here because I can't find my LA girl concealer which is typically oh sorry sorry I've had this palette for so long that wow wow <laughs> Faith is pretty much a neutral color. You're not going to see much of a difference on my eye, especially with Faith, because I'm using that as pretty much a transition color. I, I want to go in with extra bitter. But spiritually, I'm, I'm feeling <laughs> tired. I'm feeling drained. Uh, my Faith was tested quite a bit in the last couple of weeks. Um, I got tired. I was... I was playing a game of angry person with God. I really was. I was playing a really, really angry game with God because I just wanted to vent to him. And yeah, when I was, I was venting, venting came with a lot of tears and a lot of crying and a lot of woe was me. And I hate feeling that way. But I, I wanted to chat. I wanted to catch up. I wanted to find out from you guys how you guys are doing for the most part uh i've been <sighs> absolutely going through the most um and you know going through the most at a very terrible time of year because right now is normally the time where i'm planning my new year like what i'm going to do in the new year plans of productivity what's going to change uh in truthfulness there's so many things that I wanted to do, two big things that I wanted to do this year that had to be put on hold because of various things in my life and work got kind of crazy and I couldn't really do much um, because work just, wow, work was just wow. I mean, I'm not complaining, but I kind of am um, because... It's not like it's not something that I didn't want to do, you know? I just felt like everything just got away with me and, uh, yeah, kind of got hectic. So, um, I recently introduced, um, 
personal development as one of the series that I would like to incorporate. You see this? Okay. Oh, it came out quite quickly. Wow, this is watery. Mm. Okay. I actually did test this out in the store. I had someone come and test it out because it's very, very hit and miss with Urban Decay foundation. Like it's either it's too light and it'll oxidize or it's too dark and I just don't quite get what's going on with the foundation. But it's very, very watery. That's one thing I can tell you right now. And it's not sitting well with me because it's sitting all over my weave. I'm going to have to wash my weave. Okay. So I want to introduce personal development, especially uh, in the beginning of the new year, to my channel. Let's see how this works. Let me just scratch that conversation for two seconds. So this is one of the Urban Decay foundations that has matched me the best, clearly, since I've started using Urban Decay foundations, because this looks exactly like my skin tone. I love it. Um, lovely, 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 lovely. We need to actually check. I need to check online what it actually, it's beautiful. Wow. Okay. I love it. Okay. I feel like this is a foundation that could be used as an everyday foundation. It's light. It gives a very skin like finish. I love it. I actually want to check what they say about the foundation online. I've got my laptop right here, so I can just Google it quickly. You know what I'm saying? Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi, come through, come through. I want to I wanna Google this, okay? I want to Google this. Give me two seconds. Give me two six, doll. Give me two six. This doesn't sound right. Two six, please. One six, please. <laughs> While it's busy loading. I just want to like it looks really nice I want to put on one more layer and see um, for a very light foundation it's not sinking into my lines which is what happened with the what's that other foundation the Revlon one it instantly started sinking into my lines this one isn't but it's got that very nice skin finish however when I look at it like this on with you guys it looks perfect it looks absolutely perfect to on the on the on the camera However, to me, it looks a little bit dark. Just a, just a smidgen. Just a smidgen. Um, okay. It says that it's up to 24-hour wear. Real skin matte finish, which it is a matte finish. There's no glow, which if you know me and you've been following this channel for a while, you know that I love matte foundations. They're my favorite. Um, uh, absolutely love it. Yes. Breathable and it's vegan. Are you serious? Are you kidding me? Okay, that's great. That's great. Okay, up to 24 hours. It's very, very light. It's so watery. It reminds me of the NYX. What's that foundation from NYX? Okay, I'm going to go in with a second layer because I'm, I'm extra like that. Oh, yo, yo. I'm looking in the mirror. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry, guys. I hardly put any uh, foundation on my... Wow, it's beautiful. It's flawless. It's literally just flawless. Obviously, you gotta go on the cheek. You know what I'm saying? Oh, it's beautiful. Shoo! Shoo! My goodness. I love it. I love it. Okay? Okay, I love it. I love it. I love it. I love how it looks. We're gonna finish off the look now. Um, it feels great on the skin. It is absolutely matte. There's no shine to it. I've just applied it now, so if you see a little bit of shine, I've just applied it, okay? So we're just going to go with this um, Superstay one, which I've been using recently, which is really, really nice. Just pretty much go with three lines down. It feels really good. It doesn't look... Looks exceptional. Phew! Oh, I could use this. So the foundation retails for about 530 rands, 500 rand. Just so you, if in case you need to know in terms of pockets, you know. Um, as I was saying, I really do want to introduce Personal Development PD to the channel. Um, because recently, I've started doing little personal development exercises for myself personally in my own time. Um, because I felt like this year has sort of gone to waste with... Um, 
with all the things that I wanted to achieve personally, uh, I can't really do anything about that now. However, I can start working on those things and picking them up off the ground again from next year, 2020. So I did a blog post about personal development a while ago and you know, just thinking about my life and thinking about all those things. I did a blog post about it a while ago and I spoke about how I segment personal development. I compartmentalize parts of personal development into groups or into categories, if you will. Um, the categories that I use are <clears throat> work and spiritual and emotional so obviously you want to grow yourself spiritually and emotionally it's a form of development it's a form of growth personal development essentially looks at um you know actively wanting to improve your life and doing the necessary or taking the necessary steps that you would have to in order to improve your life and for me it's extremely important that that happens especially moving into um the next year but when i would sit by myself reality would set in that you know Katla, you haven't achieved all the things that you want to achieve this year you wanted to achieve this year i felt pulled back with a lot of things some of which most of which i've had no control over i've had to focus on other things i've had to uh, just I slacked in church as well this year, which was a very, very tough thing for me because I enjoy going to church. It's not like I hate going to church. I really enjoy going to church and connecting with the creator and connecting with the Alpha and Omega. And, you know, I just, I, I, I strayed a lot this year. Um, I strayed away from my goals. I strayed away from my hopes and dreams. And I, I don't know why. Do I really want to put lashes on? I don't think I do. I think it'll be a waste of lashes. So what we're going to do with this look is that we're going to turn it into a natural look. So I'm just going to leave it like this and use some mascara and, and, and get my life. <laughs> I'm actually going to leave the hair behind my ear. Because let me get chisa basically it's hot so what i do really want to do is introduce personal development and personal develop wow my lips what i really do want to do is introduce personal development and personal development videos to my uh channel and i would really love for you guys to let me know if that is something that you're interested in seeing because that's what I want to become a part of my life. I'm wearing this really cool Rolling Stones t-shirt. It's so cool. Uh -huh. This one is a Mac one. It's one of my favorite ones. This is Spite. I like Spite and Spice. Lip gloss from Mac. Jeez, it absolutely looks gorgeous. I really would like to incorporate personal development into my YouTube channel next year, my blog, my everything, because it is something that I am taking very, very seriously, especially when it comes to my life. Don't get me wrong, 2019 was uh, a difficult year, probably one of the worst years I've had in a long time, uh, but I did a lot of realizing, self-actualization. I started realizing things and uh, self-actualization and things that I'm okay with and things that I'm not okay with and things that I want to do for myself, what I want to create for myself. Um, you know, just a mark that I want to leave on the world one day. Um, I thought about a lot of things, man. I thought of my, my life, my family, my friends, my personal life. I thought about a, a ton of things and um, as much as it may have been one of the worst years that I've had in a very, very long time, it has also become a year in which I realized things. It has become a year in which I, I grew and emotionally and mentally. Uh, I dealt with my gad in 2019 a lot. I started learning about myself a lot more. Um, uh, I realized that I am a serious introvert in 2019 because I really haven't done much with anyone, haven't really 
gone out and whatever, all of that kind of stuff. And I'm perfectly fine with that. Um, I've realized a lot. Um, relationships, I lost a lot of relationships. Uh, uh, and when I say relationships, I'm talking generally like with, with at work and friends and whatever. I lost a lot of relationships. But at the end of the day, I know who I am. I know at my true core what kind of person I am. Um, and yeah, I guess you win some, you lose some. And um, I learned a lot about myself. So I feel like personal development will be a very important part of my channel in the next year. And I would love to introduce that to my channel. But this must be something you guys want too. So if you guys would like that for me and for my channel and for you, of course, more especially for you, that's why I do these videos. Um, I don't do them for myself all the time. I do them for you as well. So if you would like to see this on my channel, in the new year definitely let me know but this is pretty much the look with the urban decay uh foundation i absolutely love it i absolutely love it i think it is a definite win it's going to be one of my favorite foundations that's a fact and i'm i'm about it i'm about it i really really like it but this is a natural look this is an everyday look. This is something you can pull off every single day. You can go to work with this. You can just hang out with this. I really, really like it. It's not too much. It's not too crazy. And you top it off with a little bit of gloss. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to go now and I'll see you soon. I'll see you in the next video.